What is going on guys? Grave here today as I talk about some new maps coming to Modern Warfare 3 just a few weeks after launch. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the uh, description, the community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. When the game was announced, a lot of people were just kind of shocked at how many maps were going to be coming to the game. Uh, you're looking at a lot of 6v6 uh, maps for the core game modes. Of course, you have Ground War and also the new War Mode or the returning War Mode from World War II. But yesterday, we got even more news uh, from Sledgehammer. It says, further, uh, to further augment an already impressive selection of core 6v6 maps, we're excited to announce that a number of fan-favorite Modern Warfare 2 maps, and that's from this year's uh, Modern Warfare 2, will gradually become available to play in Modern Warfare 3 throughout the live seasons. The initial selection scheduled to be four core 6v6 maps that include Farm 18, Mercado, and Shoot House will become available shortly after launch in a dedicated playlist, and more will follow throughout the live seasons. Uh, of course, this is going to be something that I think some people would expect it. They kind of wondered would the maps carry over since a lot of the stuff from MW2 is carrying over. But it seems like throughout each season we're going to get more and more Modern Warfare 2 maps from this past year's game. Also, there's been some leaks about maybe possibly some other Sledgehammer titles, uh, some other Sledgehammer title maps being added in as well. So some maps maybe from World War II, uh, some maps even from Advanced Warfare along with some of the weapons in some of the seasons. So there's a lot of speculation out there of what could be added in future seasons, but we did get this confirmation that uh, this year's, this past year's Modern Warfare 2 game maps will be making their way gradually into the game, and it seems like three or four of them in each season. So along with the other content that we're going to get in the seasons, and it seems like we're still going to be getting other maps as well, not just the MW2 maps. Uh, we're going to be getting you know new maps, uh, some other maps, maybe from you know some other like I said, sledgehammer games. But these these will just be added kind of with that. So it seems like by the end of the game's life cycle, we're going to have a ton of maps in the game overall. And we've already uh, had a lot of information about different stuff when it comes to weapons and operators. We already have tons of those that are going to be available in the game. But it seems like the map selection is going to be absolutely massive as well. And if all goes as planned. Uh, to me, uh, the good thing is when you go in and play 6v6, let's say Team Deathmatch or Domination, for example, even though, yes, you can vote on maps in-game, which is a great thing, and I'm glad they add that back, it does not seem like you're going to see the same few maps over and over. There's going to be so much selection, even from the get-go into the first season, uh, just a few weeks after the game has launched, that you're going to have a lot of options the longer the game's out to play different types of maps. You'll have different dedicated playlist for some of the MW2 maps from this past year. So it's going to be a really good year, I think, for Call of Duty. Hopefully everything goes kind of, like I said, as planned. The game plays well because it seems like content-wise we're going to get a lot of stuff added to the game throughout the next year. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.